This program deals with extreme weight loss and should only be attempted if you've tried everything else, are sick of lugging around excess flab, and have consulted a physician. What stands between looking foxy and feeling foxy? This right here, because I used to be 215 pounds. That thing right there. The stomach and legs, because that's probably the hardest part on a woman's body. Definitely have some areas that I'd like to uh, work on. That is my last 10 pounds. Meet Penny, a 41-year-old wardrobe consultant who wants to go from fluff to buff. I want to be the buff mom, the buffest mom, the mom with the buff. One chocolate chip. Chip. Penny has no choice but to enter the last 10 pounds boot camp. Drive those legs. Drive those legs. This is the amount of sugar that you're consuming in one month. Oh, I'm going to You're going to be sick? sick. was CAA, you know, Chocoholics Anonymous, I'd be the founding member. I do have the giant bag of chocolate chipettes. Portion control is based on the melting factor of chocolate. And I could probably go through a whole bag of them uh, in an evening a little bit at a time. And that's added some jiggle to her wiggle. Oh, my butt flaps are clapping together and my thighs and a little bit of the fourth grade teacher flap. But behind the humor, there's also sadness. My son was only six years old when he lost his father. My daughter, eight. Part of the reason I put the weight on was to feel safe. I think it was my cocoon to kind of ward off potential suitors. Penny is now ready to move on with help from her kids. Sadie and JJ, they wrote me this letter. For Christmas this year, the thing I want the most is someone to come find our family to make my mom happy. I want to be happy again. I want to feel that feeling, that in love feeling, you know, that, oh, honey, you're home, you know, that feeling that you get from chocolate if you're not eating chocolate, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm Tommy Europe, a pro football player turned personal trainer. And this is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. For the next four weeks, we're putting the chocolate love on hold while Penny gets her swagger back. Penny, put that chocolate down. Oh my Penny, God. Drop the chocolate. <sighs> Penny, Tommy <laughs> Europe, Hi. I'll be your personal trainer for the next four weeks. Okay. Nadine Bowman, I'll be your nutrition specialist. What's in your pocket? Nothing. You hit something. Don't make us pat you down. She took the piece with the chocolate, too. Well, of course I did. <laughs> We're going to get you up, Penny. Bust, 41 inches. Waist. Waist. 34. 34. Hips. Okay, 43 go. inches. Four okay. Three inches. Okay, okay. You I, can, I can cope with that. I can cope. Going to get you a step on the scale. All right. Body, Body weight, weight. 171, 171 pounds. pounds. Crying out loud. <laughs> OK, well, did you have to let the whole street know that? <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. It's not going to be easy. OK. It didn't come on overnight. It took time. It's yeah. going to take time to come off. OK. Starting now. Starting now. Today okay. and for the next four weeks, yeah. it's time to crack down. All right, you're the boss. Excellent. So you've got the commitment? Yeah. You got it. Excellent. Okay. I'm crying now because I'm afraid. Those numbers kind of shocked me um, to realize that I've let myself go so far. We're targeting Penny's jiggly arms, jelly belly, and flabby thighs. We're going to get this five foot seven chocoholic down to a tighter 161 pounds. Aha. Nadine starts the diet overhaul by getting the goods on the bags. Second ingredient, sugar. Bad. Check out the fridge. Not one, but two jars of mayo. It goes by volume. This is mostly oil. Oil and water, that's what we're having here. Aha. One, two, three containers of jam. First ingredient, sugar. Second ingredient is glucose. 
Anything ending in OS, O-S-E, is sugar. Oh my God. <laughs> Check out the sausage. I don't know what she does with this and I don't want to know. Meanwhile, we're shopping for a Target outfit that will showcase Penny's arrival as a single. Okay, Penny, yep. I'm gonna let you do what women do best, shop. It would be so great, actually, to have something that have it be crisp enough to wear to meetings and still funky enough to wear out. Ta-da! The entrance was good. Um, yes, I'll get a Crantini. You almost done, Penny? Ta-da! Nice. This is great because you can go from daytime um, to night. What size is that anyway? Ten. Ten? Yeah, it's gonna be great. It is, especially when we put you in a size eight. Well, yeah, I'm a big fan of the single digits, so. All okay, right. Okay, excellent. You ready for it? I'm ready. Let's okay. get to work. Well, hearing a single digit again felt great, even though I know it's gonna be really, really hard. I've done it before. I can do it again. And go. Squat, thrust, jump. Ah, ah. Come on, Penny, let's go, move. Oh, yeah. Huh? Sick. You gonna be sick? <sighs> Penny's a single mom who turned to food for comfort after the tragic death of her husband. Now, she wants to drop 10 pounds so she can start her life again. I want to be the buff mom, the buffest mom. Hello, Penny. Today, you're going to be going through the drill test. Okay. You said you were freakishly strong. I could pick you up. Okay. The drill test is where I assess Penny's physical strength Penny. and endurance. You're about halfway in. Haven't been doing much cardio, have you? As little as possible. Step-ups are pretty tough, even when you're in shape. If my butt isn't high and mighty by the end of this, I don't know what'll do it. You're gonna be doing sit-ups, squat, thrust, jumps. How about I piggyback you around the whole circuit once and we call it a day? Off on, baby. Ah, here we go. She's going pretty good. That's one, that's two. <laughs> well, I got good news and bad news, Penny. Almost. And go. Penny really has to work on her overall conditioning. Um, she's very strong, but as soon as you add any movement to it, she can't last very long. Feeling as good as you look? Uh. Come on, Penny, let's go. Move, 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 move. Oh, I'm gonna. Huh? I'm sick. You gonna be sick? <sighs> okay, then let's call it a day. Penny worked very hard today. She went uh, way past her comfort zone, which is great to see, because that lets me know the next four weeks are gonna be uh, full of effort, and she's gonna give me everything she has. Oh, okay. Does this look familiar? Now it's Nadine's turn to push Penny out of her comfort zone. Wait. Pretty much what I eat on a regular basis. Let's start adding on what else you eat throughout the day. <gasps> oh, yeah. There you go. There's there the no-fat fudge brownie. That's my venti chai latte. Penny, low-fat products contain tons of sugar to make up for the lack of tasty fat. Also, a non-fat product could have the same number of calories as a full-fat product. Let's what? see what you have in the afternoon. Five yeah. chocolate chip cookies. Now we're talking. Popcorn. Yummy. Yes, micro-pop. One whole bag. Usually, yeah, the whole bag. What okay, about these yes. guys? Yes, all right, there you go. She thinks she's making these low-fat, healthy choices when, in fact, she's just eating tons and tons of sugar, which then turns into fat. This is the amount of sugar that you're consuming in one month. Get out of town. Hard to believe, isn't no it? No way. This, this is, is pretty heavy approximately bucket. six kilos of sugar. You're kidding. This is from your snacks alone. Oh, wow. Well, in a month. I had no idea. Like Nadine was right. I was in denial. I want to have a, a healthy lifestyle. I want to show my kids, and I want to be around for grandkids and great-grandkids and dancing at my daughter's wedding and all that stuff that Jack is going to miss. This is your new menu plan. All right. So what we have is one day of snacks here, another day here. This is cheese. one serving size of what cheese. What kind of cheese is that, though? Like, I like cheddar, I like jack. You can so. eat any kind as long as it's light. You just have to make sure you're, you're portioning it out to be the right size. OK. It's about the thickness of your thumb and the length of your thumb. We're slashing Penny's calories in half and cutting way back on her sugar intake. 
She'll keep her hunger in check by having two snacks a day. Remember, Penny, that snacks are a mini meal to keep your energy levels up. We've laid out all of Penny's meals week by week. She can even have her chai tea lattes and brownies, but she will have to make one big sacrifice. One brownie a week, not one brownie every other day. I do need the chocolate. I have to have it in there, so I'm so glad she's weaning me off slowly instead of completely cold turkey. Push up, roll across, push up. I've designed an exercise program that will hone in on Penny's problem areas. Those flabby arms, thunder thighs, and muffin top. Ugh. Time for the plank. Okay. Keep breathing, keep breathing. The plank is a great core exercise for everybody. Obviously, doing it on a fit ball is a little bit tougher. You can do it on the floor as well. You want to try hold it for at least a minute. Drop that butt, drop that butt. Penny will hit the gym four days a week. I'll bump up the cardio from 30 minutes to 45 minutes over time. Outside the gym, she'll be power walking and doing yoga. Four weeks is great. That's going to kickstart her and get her on the right track. But it's a much longer process. And you know, if she didn't gain it overnight, she's not going to lose it overnight. You didn't think it was going to be easy, did you? Come on, Penny. You got five more seconds. Three, two, one, and down. I'm humiliated. I just feel like the biggest, fattest slob in the place. Grab a drink. My husband passed away from heart failure. My grandfather died of heart failure at only 42. And my own father has had a triple bypass. Every time I get over a certain heart rate. When it starts to pound really hard, I'm just afraid I'm gonna die. To the cone, to the cone, to the cone. Come on, Penny. Don't move the f***ing cone yet. One chocolate chip. Two <laughs> chocolate chips. After two weeks of grueling workouts and strict nutrition, Penny is about to find out if all the hard work is paying off. It's time to crack down. So you got the commitment? Yeah, you got it. Penny, Penny, Penny. Hi, hi. Is she any closer to fitting a size eight? Okay, be nice. Bust, 39 inches. Down two inches. Oh, fabulous. Waist. Waist. 32 inches. Woohoo! down two inches. Rock and roll. Hips, 42. That's two again, isn't it? One. One. Jump up on the scale. Okay. Weight. 164. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You've done seven pounds. Oh, you're wrong. Well, if I do another seven, I'm gonna get myself another outfit. Penny may start to feel a little bit overconfident. You can see how she's kind of aiming pretty high. If she decides to cheat because she thinks that she's doing so well, that's the kind of thing that really does stunt the results. Let's see how that freakishly strong body looks in that Target outfit. Yeah, let's. Inside. <laughs> it's taking so long in there, Penny. Well, the jacket's too tight. Well, don't worry about the jacket. Come on out. Wow. Looks pretty good. Okay. have to do right there. Ah. Oh. Can't get, can't get it's interesting that Penny couldn't do up the zipper. That last two inches is like a barometer, that zipper. It's showing, you know, this is what we have left to cover. This is what we have left to lose. So, Penny? I got a surprise for you. What? Oh, looks like a box of chocolates. Does it? Uh, oh, yeah. That's Chocolate not... chips, you, wine. That, yeah, so, so, you know, Is that on whatever, your meal whatever. plan? No. Today, you get your butt kicked. You gonna lift this up? Drive it, drive it, run, run, run. Come on, Penny, drive those legs, drive those legs. You're not doing too well, Penny. Oh, shut up. To the cone, to the cone, to the cone. Come on, Penny. Don't move the Let's go. Yet. Let's go, Penny. This course is pretty tough. Uh, with the sled, you're pushing a couple hundred pounds. You have to get it up and then keep your legs going. Otherwise, it's not going to move at all. And she found that out the hard way. You're almost there. You're almost there. Good. Let's go. Follow me. Come on, Penny. Shuffle. Shuffle. Shuffle around the bag. Don't cross your feet. Stay low. Stay low when you hit those. Hit it. Hit it! One chocolate chip, two chocolate chips, three chocolate chips, and a glass of wine. Come on. Eight. This is what the butt kick is all about. Oh, <sighs> that seven pounds, the first little bit is easy. I told you that. 
The last little bit is going to be tough. I know that I can't get away with anything, and that if I'm really going to do it, I got to stick to it. Do the cardio. Hey. Hello, Penny. Today is all about you. If you don't take care of yourself, this is what could happen. Ooh, fatty, fatty two by four. That's not right, because that's not moving forward for me. That's that's backwards. That's ba that's all wrong. This is what can happen to you if you don't take care of yourself. You're very used to looking after everybody and taking care of everybody because you've had to. Yeah. So I understand that. Yeah. So now, take time for yourself, okay. both nutrition-wise, physically, yeah. cardio. I hate the booby shaking machines. She does no cardio. That's not the mommy that I had in mind when I had my kids. And that's not the mommy my kids need. Come on, Penn. A little bit of interval training. Don't have to run. It's merely a jog. It's straight uphill, dude. One chocolate chip. Two chocolate chips. Penny has struggled through nearly four weeks of punishing workouts and strict nutrition in a bold attempt to drop 10 pounds. I want to be the buff mom, the buffest mom. But is Penny ready for the final challenge of boot camp? A winter ascent of a rugged wilderness canyon. Hey, Penny. Hey. We're going to climb the Lynn Headwater Trail. Go all the way up, through the switchback, going all the way up here. And that's where the helicopter picks us up and takes us home? No. Remember all the junk and crap you used to eat? Yeah. Well, for one last time, you're going to carry those. We've got six kilos of sugar. I'm going to want that helicopter ride. Let's go. Ooh. Found yourself a stick? Yeah, this is kind of helping with the snow. Let's go! A little bit of interval training. Running, running, running. Now it's going to get fun. Oh, boy. Come on, Penny. Watch your step. It's icy. Don't have to run. I'm not running. It's merely a jog. Interval training, Penny. It's straight uphill, dude. Get that heart rate up a little bit. I really thought by the end of this four weeks that I'd be able to keep up with Tommy on the final challenge. So he was pissing me off on purpose, running. Like, who runs up a mountain? Keep breathing. Keep moving. You got your stick. I'm going to give you a stick. Oh. Oh. Come on, Penny, let's go. You run these stairs. Drive those knees up. Come on. Oh. We're not the fucking pioneers, all right? Penny, here you go. Gorgeous. <laughs> Sun's even trying to say, hey, thanks for coming. This stick, let go. No. Let go. Martin, I really let... have bonded with the stickage. Can I arm wrestle you for it? You'd lose badly. Whatever. OK, here we go. The stick was basically a crutch. You don't need it anymore. Very much like you don't need this weight on your back. Keep pushing yourself, you're gonna get to exactly where you wanna be. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's enjoy this. Hi guys. What's up, Penny? Oh, nothing I hope, I hope I'm down. It's time to face the numbers. The and that size eight dress. I'm psyched. Standing right here. Yep. Bust, 37 inches. Four inches. inches. Wow. Waist, 30. OK, bang on. Down four inches again. Hips, 39. Down four inches. Impressive. Wow. Total of 12 inches you've lost in the past four weeks. Cool. Going to get you to step on the scale. Weight, 100. 58 pounds. Down 13 pounds, Penny. Oh, 
We got to start this whole thing over again. You lost 13 pounds. I know, but I was hoping for 155. I had readjusted my goals to 155, so I was a little disappointed. Are you ready? Ready. How's it going in there, Penny? So far, so good. Nice. Very nice. Beautiful. You look fabulous. And I have a surprise for you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What is it? My stick! <laughs> oh, oh! You can't be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Good Thanks, job. Nadine. Penny had some fantastic results. She lost 12 inches all the way around, 13 pounds. She wanted to lose more, but she gained confidence. And that is more important than, than any number of pounds. Penny leaves boot camp a fabulous 158 pounds. This recovering chocoholic has conquered her fear of cardio. For the first time in a long time, Penny looks forward to dating. The last 10 pounds was like a kick in the ass for me. It got me out of the house, which I haven't been out of for a couple of years, and it reminded me of me. It reminded me that I was in there and that I was fit and strong and that I could look good and feel confident again. Let's go. Bye, Mom.